Hello, this is Trevor, and thank you for coming to my channel, Pioneer Spirit. I just want to give a shout out to everyone who comments, watches the videos till the end, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever floats your boat, uh, hits the subscribe button, the bell notification, you know, the whole nine yards. Everyone who supports my channel, you're all greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay. So that being said, uh, today's topic, I want to talk about something I've talked about a few times before, and that's the EVs, electric vehicles, and why they aren't the green tech cure-all. Well, first of all, let me just say that someone who comes from Canada, I can tell you right now that uh, batteries don't work so well in uh, the Great White North, okay, and during the winter time. If you do not plug your uh, diesel vehicle or gas-powered uh, vehicle in during the winter when it's uh, minus 10 or colder, uh, you know, minus 20, you know, you know if you don't push them, push them, plug them in, your battery can die. And I found that out one great winter when I worked in um, northern Alberta. And, uh, you know, quite often it would hit, uh, you know, you get minus 20, 30, 40 and didn't plug my vehicle in. I had to go buy a brand new uh, a battery for my vehicle. So battery operated electric vehicles in the Great White North during the winter, I'm going to say aren't going to be working very well. I don't think the technology is going to be there. And if it is, it's just going to wear out your battery even quicker. Okay, so on to some other EV interesting news. Um, Ford and GM have canceled a few facilities for building future EVs, but there's no changes to their petrol line of vehicles, okay? Diesel and gas-powered motored engines, they're not, um, they're not cutting any plants, not slowing down there. But yeah, Ford and GM are definitely... They're not going to be building any more EV uh, facilities. And even Tesla. Tesla's global production is down. And uh, they also had a uh, Giga plant <laughs> that was uh, going to be built in Mexico. That's now on hold and could be actually canceled. So not very good news there from the... Uh, from the world of GM, Ford, and Tesla when it comes to electric vehicles. And in fact, the sales are down for all of those things, all those companies. I mean, when you look at the price of an electric vehicle, okay, what, 70, 80,000? I mean, okay, there are some diesel and gas powered uh, vehicles that are just as that, that much too. But the problem is when these things break down, when, when the batteries go on this, I mean, you're talking twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars to replace a battery. And again, I go back to if you live in Canada and the Great White North here, and even you know, there's a lot of places in the United States: Wisconsin, Michigan, um, Minnesota, you know, Wyoming, Montana, all these places. North Dakota, they get pretty cold, so these batteries are going to wear down even quicker than say a diesel engine. And when they do, man, you got to replace it. It's going to be twenty, twenty-five thousand, thirty thousand to replace these things. Okay, as we're a diesel engine, you know, I mean, you know, they, you change the oil in them, and you know, you try to keep the upkeep in them, and you know, they can blow. Of course, they can blow. You know, and transmissions and all that. They, they they do need replacing, and but I'm going to say over the long run, you spend eighty thousand dollars on a diesel engine. It's going to go a lot farther for you. You're going to get a lot more bang for your buck than an EV vehicle. Ah, oh, geez, what else? Um, yeah, you know, and again, a lot of these, um, the components and whatnot that are built for the EVs, I mean, they're being built in China. I don't care, let's face it, people. China, it doesn't have the uh, most friendly um, environmental, eco green. Um, record out there okay so a lot of these you know yeah so it's not being very economically uh well economically i don't even know why the hell we're building the, anything in china anymore it, because it is cheap and they don't give a shit about their environment um 
Okay, so not very environmentally friendly. What else did I want to add to that? Um, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Just trying to find some more um, points on there. Uh, I mean, EV, the, the refueling stations, they're too far and, and few uh, between there. So it's not like, you know, hey, geez, you know, I got to pull over and put some diesel or some gasoline in my car there. Um, I mean, I guess that could be solved by building some more, but let's look at also where this is an important point that I have made so many numerous times, but it seems to fly over the heads of people. And that's where does the power come from to fuel the EV, the EVs, the electric vehicles? Where does it come from? It's not coming from solar panels and wind farms you know, the so-called green energy, which which I think can be, uh, you know, there's a whole new subject to talk about the environmental tragedies of these giant windmills and, and solar panels that just, you know, again, these things are only collecting power when the wind's blowing and the sun is shining on them. So let's just face up the facts here, people. Your electric vehicles, the power from that's coming from nuclear, coal, gas, natural gas, it's not coming from so-called green energies. So that's a huge, huge, huge silver bullet for these electric vehicles, okay? Like, yeah, it's not it's not green energy. So I just, you know, quick video, I wanted to point that out. Uh, you know, just came across some news that, yeah, GM, Ford, Tesla, sales are down. They're not building any new facilities. Um you know, I just, you know, I, I don't know the technologies and they want to, you know, the, the ramming this down our throats to say 2030, 2030, 2030. Everybody's got to have an electric vehicle. Well, I don't know when in the history uh, Canada, United States, uh, UK has ever doubled down on any of their products that, you know, they're supposed to build within a decade. These things take longer. OK. Um, and this is, you know, I, I, I look at the. Uh, Tesla, Elon Musk's uh, Cybertruck. I love the look of it. I love the look of the Cybertruck. You know, you either love it or hate it. The problem is I want a Cybertruck with a diesel engine in it. Okay, I don't want that. I don't want the uh, EV. I want, I'd love if Ford came out with a, something that looked like the Cybertruck or if Tesla even came out and said, yeah, I guess we're, we're <laughs> build it with a diesel engine. I'd love to have that, Okay. I think that uh, just the technology isn't there yet. The technology's not there. And definitely, come on. I mean, I've been pointing this out since 2009. I've been asking all these people. I remember uh, years ago asking a reporter, um, you know, who, who had bought a Chevy Volt. And I said, yeah, but where does the power from that come from? And it's like the, they look at you like deer's got caught in the headlights it's like well it's clean energy i'm like no it's it's not it's coming from coal or nuclear like that electricity like where did where do you think electricity comes from you drive an ev car where do you think it just sucked right out of the air <laughs> oh no, i mean that electricity comes from coal nuclear d d gas uh oil okay so just trying to point those things out i don't think we're anywhere near close to where, um, you know, governments want us to be in the next, you know, six years, really, because 2023 is coming to an end and they want this done by 2030. So, uh, you know, the technology is not there and companies, they're just, they're realizing that, look, people, the market isn't there. It's just the market for these cars. It's the electric vehicles. I don't think it's just not there because people are starting to, to use common sense and start going, yeah, like, where does the energy come from? What do you do in a Canadian cold winter when these these batteries are starting to the the life of them is going, you know, it's dying quick because of the cold weather. Um, and again, you know, people are looking at China's environmental track record, which just it's not very good. So, and a lot of these components are built in China. Uh, again, look the the minerals to to build these things. Like Africa, you gotta. So what do you do? People are like, well, you know, the minerals like the lithium, the the nickel, the cadmium, all that stuff has to come from somewhere. They have to dig it up from somewhere. So, you know, if you're one of these, oh, I, we, we, we can't have like, you know, one of these people who got uh, rid of the um, coal mining industry in the United States. 
Well, you know that the you know Africa is just basically the coal mining industry there now for your electric vehicles, for the the minerals and components to build the batteries. I mean, it's such a farce, such a farce. Electric vehicles, EVs, I just they're a farce. Okay, um, yeah, like you know, let's just you want energy, we need energy. Let's have. Uh, my proposal for energy, first of all, get, you, know, you can have electric vehicles, fine. There's, there's going to be always a little niche market for it, a couple percent of the population. But let's face the facts. Let's, let's, when it comes to energy needs, okay, nuclear for commercial and residential buildings. Vehicles should be powered on diesel or gasoline, okay? Um, you know, heating, um, you know, you got propane, natural gas, coal as well. Uh, wood burning stoves too. You, you factor all these things in. That's where our energy should come from, our heating and our cooling. And that's just where I'm at with these. Um, totally not a fan of EVs, except for the Cybertruck. I'm looking at you, Elon. If you could put a diesel and motor engine inside your Cybertruck, I'll buy one. I'll buy one. I'll write you the check for it today. All right, everyone, uh, hope you're doing well and uh, stay free and talk to you later. Bye-bye.